Good morning, Taurus. This is your love reading for April 2019. Welcome back to my channel. Please like this reading, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lunasync where I post updates and other interesting content. All right, well, let's sync up. Okay. So this is you. This is where you're at. This is what you're bringing to the table. Um, this is the energy that you're contributing to this relationship, to this potential love. It's the Four of Cups reversed. You may be coming out of a period of apathy and boredom, especially where it comes to, to a love offering. So you see in this um, image, I'll turn it up right so you can see it more clearly. This person is being offered a divine cup of love. Um, so I feel like possibly somebody offered something to you that you um, passed up the first time around and maybe you were like, mm, I don't think so, nope. Um, and now your, your perspective is shifting. And so you might be reconsidering what was offered to you in the past. All right, that's the Four of Cups. And that's you. That's what you're contributing to this relating. Let's see who this other person is. What is he or she contributing? Oh, and this came right out. Six of Cups. Feeling very nostalgic. Um, feeling, having a lot of feelings about the past. Um, and possibly about your your um, connection in the past. Um, revisiting feelings about your connection. Um, or a connection from the past. It's the Six of Cups. It's a very nice card. It's... um. It's like feelings of uh, uh, joy and innocence that you had when you were a child. Um, very emotional, very sensitive, very nostalgic, um, having to do with recalling memories, nice mem memories, pleasant memories. Um, it's the Six of Cups. That's what he or she is contributing to the relating. What's the composite energies? What happens when the two of you get together? What happens uh, when your energies blend? What does that look like? Ooh, oh boy. Um, tower? <laughs> uh, this I see is um, really positive, actually. I love the tower. It's um, a, like a dramatic, sudden shift, either in perspective or identity or old structures, old systems that no longer serve you that have at one point been foundational. Um, crumbling to the ground. So I love change. So this card really excites me. Um, and when you two come together, when your energies blend, it's about transformation. Whew. I love that. Um, okay. And the insight, what needs to be integrated? Um, what, what understanding needs to be known about this relationship? What needs to be integrated? What needs to be known? What needs to be understood? What needs to be processed? Otherwise known as the outcome. Um, let's see. So today's the spring equinox. It's the first day of spring. Um, and let's see. Uh, we just had the, the fullest of the of full moons. I guess it's the last super moon of the year. So it's the it's bigger and brighter than any moon to come in 2019. Um, and it was a full moon in Libra and it was super juicy. I took my dog on a walk um, early in the morning when it was still dark and it was just like zzz. it was uh, illuminating. It was so bright. Okay, outcome, what needs to be understood? Can I have one card please for Taurus in this love and romance reading? What does he or she, what does Taurus need to understand? What do they need to know about this relationship? Okay. You really need to listen to your own spiritual code of ethics. You need to dig in and listen to what you know to be true about yourself, about others, about the world. You have a strong inner compass. You have a strong 
uh, like I said, inner code of, of spiritual ethics. You, you know what you know, and you are um, at a time where you need to tap in and operate from that place. So that was the Hierophant um, reversed. So you might be in a place where you're reconsidering a love offer. Maybe one that was made in the past from this person right here who's revisiting his or her feelings about your connection. And you are revisiting your perspective and your feelings about your connection as well. When you two come together, transformation happens. Um, you know, you'll have to take it for what it is. Is it positive? Is it negative? Sometimes people see this as like a very unpleasant transformation. It's sudden. It comes from outside. It's unexpected. And it brings up a lot of feelings of anxiety. Um, uh, but I, I often see it as a powerful card of shifting and moving forward and um, just getting closer to um, what is true and meant for you. So that's what happens when you two come together. And the insight, what you need to know, what you need to understand and what you need to um, process and integrate is that the most important thing to do is get in touch with what you know to be true and to operate from that place. So whatever decision that you make now, I feel like it's an important one, especially around this relationship, whether to move forward with this person or not, whether to take action around this or not. Um, I feel like it's not, <laughs> it's not sort of a light decision. It's something to be considered. Um, and I think that because of the Hierophant showing up in reverse here and the outcome. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. Let's, I want to know what this person thinks about you. Like, how does he or she feel about you? And sorry, my cards are just turned all kinds of different ways. And maybe I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use the Osho Zen Tarot deck. I haven't used this one in a while, but I like it. It's beautiful. I picked up this deck many, many years ago. I'm going to say 15 years ago, 20 maybe. Um, when I was traveling around the United States and I ended up in, um, Tezuque, New Mexico. And I was camping out there and somebody gave me this deck at that time. And, um, I thought the imagery on it was just beautiful. So what does he or she think about Taurus? When he or she thinks about Taurus, what do they, what do they feel? What do they think? What do you think about this relationship? And I'm looking for one card here. Breakthrough. Yeah, this is like tower moment again. Breakthrough. Like when he or she thinks about you, they think there's a lot that I need to overcome and um, in myself. Like I feel like this person is going through like a personal transformation, a personal tower moment. Like in order to like meet Taurus, where he or she is at, I need to break through my own limitations. Um, because I really feel like, you know, there's a possibility that you're vibing at a higher level, not higher, different, different level than this person. Um, or maybe they just have some things that they need to overcome and resolve before they're able to meet you where you're at. That's probably a better way to say that. Okay. And how does Taurus feel about this connection? How does Taurus feel about um, this potential love interest? Ooh, just one card, please, for Taurus and how he or she feels about their potential love interest. What does Taurus think about this possibility? Integration. Okay, well that makes sense. We have the tower, we have breakthrough, we have integration. Um, I think you really see this person as like, this is yin and yang. This is like, this is a person that's like, if you're the divine feminine, this is your divine masculine. Like this is the person that's like, mm, juicy, yummy, completing me, fulfilling me. Like um, the, the puzzle, the piece of the puzzle fits. Um, yeah, and 
Uh, this card speaks to integrating your mascul masculine and your feminine energies. And maybe there's something about this relationship that will help you to do that or will inspire you to integrate those energies in um, a new way, in a final way, in a way that um, will really heal and serve you. All right, well, let's do a recap here. Um, we might have already done this, and I apologize if we did, but the Four of Cups reversed. You're revisiting your feelings or your thoughts or your perspectives about a love offering that came to you in the past that may be still possible because your love interest is thinking about you and is thinking about your connection and is revisiting those feelings him or herself. When you come together, your, your blended energies, um, it's tower moment time. It's like things are going to fucking shift to the ground. Like new things are going to come up in its place. This is trans transformational energy. The outcome or what you need to understand, what needs to be integrated, what needs to be understood is you need to tap into your inner wisdom, what you know to be true, and operate from that place. When he or she thinks about you, they think, I need to take this to, I need to take my own shit to the next level in order to meet Taurus where he or she is at. Inner transformation, inner breakthroughs, personal transformation. And then when you think about this love interest, you think, um, this is an opportunity for me to meet my match, like to have, um, my divine, like if you're the divine feminine, to have that connection with your divine masculine, like there's just something juicy there um, that you want that will help you, that could potentially help you or heal you in some sort of um, uh, fundamental holistic way. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think the advice is that you need to listen within. Um, take your time. Think about it. Process it. Um, you're a Taurus, you're an earth sign, so move slowly. <laughs> that should be easy for you, right? Um, but all in all, it looks like these are the energies I really love, like these transformational breakthrough energies, a beautiful thing. So I am wishing you the best this spring. Um, I'm wishing you the best in April. Please like this reading, subscribe to my channel, make sure to click on the bell for future readings, and follow me on Instagram, at Lunasync. All right, wishing you the best, have a great day.